Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my simple channel. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and ring the bell button to notify you in my next uploads. Thank you so much all for you on ending support to my channel. This part 2 of zoological and botanical gardens will give you more information what will inside this huge park. Enjoy watching! The Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens is one of the oldest zoological and botanical centers in the world, and the oldest park in Hong Kong. Founded in 1864, its first stage was opened to the public in 1871. It occupies an area of 5.6 hectares 14 acres in Central, on the northern slope of Victoria Peak. Yes, similar to Hong Kong Park, Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens provides a natural environment and atmosphere. While physically smaller than Hong Kong Park it contains more plants, animals and facilities. Yes, covering of 5.6 hectares, Zoological and Botanical Gardens is the earliest park built in Hong Kong with good selection of plants, birds, mammals, reptiles, resting benches and a large fountain. In addition, the garden is also a loveliest outdoor space for free with extra facilities and attractions. The Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens boasts over 1,000 species of plants mainly from tropical and subtropical zones, covering main species both in Hong Kong local and abroad, such as pine and cypress, fig tree, palm, eucalyptus, yulon magnolia, camellia, cuckoo, philodendron, etc. The Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens send delicate fragrance all the years around with roses, orchids, Kamuning, sweet scented Osman does. While in autumn, maples and bald cypress add in color with Safrutacosa plants in the fountain terrace garden, which is surrounded with varieties One of gorgeous flowers. Later. In the eastern marginal part is the greenhouse, a home to a good collection of plants over 150 varieties. The Hong Kong and Botanical Gardens is known as two divided parts, the eastern of which is the old garden with a children's playground, a aviaries, the greenhouse and a fountain terrace garden, while the west of which is the place where mammals and reptiles are found. The Zoological and Botanical Gardens of Hong Kong serves as one of the loveliest outdoor places for free with its extra facilities and attractions like Fountain Terrace, a memorial arch dedicated to the Chinese who died assisting the Allies during the two world wars, a bronze statue of the previous Governor Arthur Edward Kennedy. In memory of his contributions to the development of Hong Kong, and a house statue of King George VI in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of British colonial rules over Hong Kong. In the zoological and botanical gardens, there are around 40 cage houses raising for 500 birds, 70 mammalian and 50 reptiles, in which rare species are embodied. Just outside the greenhouse are several large aviaries with birds including water birds like wood duck, as well as flamingos, crane and intense colored scarlet ibises that grace an artificial waterfall. Many of the land birds are small, and with several species from East Asia. The black cast hornbill is among the zoological botanical garden's larger land birds, which is an African species. Below the aviaries is a large fountain, set in an open area with good views over central high-rises. In the west section of the Kowloon Zoological and Botanical Gardens, mammals and reptiles are exhibited. Orangutan are the stars, though they can seem disdainful of their fans, maybe just slumping on the floor or on high ledges. There are also lemur, tamarind's tiny monkeys, the zoological and botanical gardens had success in breeding some rare species. 
which in the wild are now restricted to tiny pockets of South American rainforest macaques, porcupines, gibbons, and mouse near the world's smallest hoofed animals, also some tortoises and if you walk down to a lower exhibit a huge python, and a couple of fiancé alligators.
Over 100 species have successfully reared young including red crown crane, peacock pheasant and Rothschild's mina, all of which are highly endangered in the wild. Just outside the greenhouse are several large aviaries, with birds including water birds such as the Carolina duck, as well as flamingos, blue crane and intensely colored scarlet ibises that grace an artificial waterfall. There are also land birds, many of them small from Asia and Africa. Yellow Cast Hornbill are Amoji the Hong Kong Botanical Garden's larger land birds. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Please press the bell button to notify you for my new upload. Your comments are highly appreciated in this video. Thank you so much guys for being with me all the times. Thank you so much for watching.